Yo, welcome to Final Lost Versus, your first time watching. Thanks for stopping by the channel and checking out the show. So, it's been over 24 hours since this diss was released by Melly Mel, response to Eminem. And honestly, people, my response and my reaction hasn't changed. I'm still upset. I'm still shocked. I'm appalled. I'm embarrassed. I don't know why this is even released. I'm ashamed of my reaction. Why did I even release it? I'm adding to the flames, people. Um, if you watch my reaction last night, I'll leave it at the end of the uh, video. You will see it. I believe it was AI when I first heard it. So there's no way this dude didn't have no friends or family or somebody say, hey, man, check this out for me before I hit release it. And they should have just said, no, bro, don't release this. I be believe the best response was silence, bro. Or if you watch my reaction again, he could have got other rappers that he dissed. Lord Jamal game. Any other rappers he dissed. Even other legends to get together to sit down and have scathing comments about him versus this, whatever that was on audio yesterday. Um, but I just wanted to read some of the comments y'all got that y'all sent to me and just, just talk my way through it. Cause I'm still like puzzled or baffled of why this had this happened. So let's look at some of the comments. If you can see my screen. The first one says reaction to this song have been 10,000 times better than the actual disc. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody else said seriously 100 laughing out, laughing my butt off. I've been laughing hardcore watching these re reaction to it. So a lot of people said that somebody says screw, uh, Screw face reaction had him dying. I haven't seen Screw's reaction to this. Um, let me see down here what this says. Somebody said they was working out at the gym and the people at the gym was asking me why am I laughing. I told them the whole video, told them the whole gym epic diss track. Man, they really played it. I almost had a heart attack. Man, everyone was laughing like it was high school. Oh. Somebody said... I, this is like when your grandpa gets on the dance floor at a wedding to show you what, how it's done. We all clap, but everyone knows that it was embarrassing to all of us. <laughs> Let me read a couple more. Uh, okay, the same man talked about friends. Why didn't your friends check it out? Somebody said, "I feel all of I feel you. All of this, who really, all of us who really love hip hop, listen to our legends and current artists, and we responded the same way." Just mad because we really wanted so much from this. It was supposed to be great. Now, you know, if you heard the message and all the stuff that Melly Mel and this group have done, you knew his style of rap. You haven't heard anything for years that showed to him he has morphed into a new being, a new rap creature or a new rap creation. So. You kind of already knew if you were a student of hip hop, how it would have sound, but somebody said, brother, you're a funny. I had the same response as soon as I heard it. He was going with the eighties flow. My face was same as yours on his IG. He has been saying for a couple of days, he's going to release something. I have no idea what's going on. He said he could battle Eminem and beat him. He said it would be the easiest thing he ever did. Apparently not. <laughs> Somebody said I died when you said it was AI. Man, I thought it was AI. Somebody said their stomach hurts from the reaction. Let me keep going down. Some of the stuff is the same stuff. Okay. And a legend says that Final Lost Versus is still looking hard on this diss track. <laughs> oh. All right, I like that one. Um, I'm in tears. Yeah, I'm in tears listening to it. 
Here's a long one, so let me read this. Besides being white, I never understood why Eminem received so much hate. He normally doesn't diss without a reason, and all and he all does is pay homage to the greats in his music. I came of the age of the nineties without Eminem, and I may have never found my way to hip hop. Certainly, would be rooting through his past jams. Somebody said the later half of his music career was has not been so great. His current music is te super technical, but probably the best someone has ever done it. But it sound doesn't sound really good. He doesn't omit bad songs. Doesn't I guess they probably say he doesn't admit bad songs from his albums for some reason. People also complain about his beat selection. It is not as fun for everybody, and some people voice their opinions, which he didn't like, and came at everyone. Second reason is his anti-Trump gun stance. Also, Eminem guarantees your your ears and views. Like the game, this was completely unnecessary. He wanted something to grab attention for his album. No matter what anyone says, he's still the GOAT. Okay. That was a lot. Sir, I feel your secondhand embarrassment through the screen. <laughs> exactly. This is a pioneer of hip-hop. Eminem is somewhere laughing his butt off and saying, I used to look up to this guy. I don't know. I love that you aren't scared to say you like Eminem. I subscribe because of that comment. All right. I'm going to read some more. Somebody said they never heard of Melly Mel before, before this. Somebody gave him, told him who he was. Furious Five, the message, one of the greatest hip hop in history. Okay. Dude hasn't evolved. And kept his pen sharp. Yeah, he's 60 years old, bro. All right. Somebody said the sad thing Emma's probably not going to respond out of pity. <laughs> Romelli Mel will see it as a win. Oh, okay. Um, I'm almost done, y'all. I just want to see some comments. Uh, da -da -da -da. Nobody mentioned that Melly Mel called Eminem Matthew instead of Marshall. Watch my reaction. I said, Matthew? <laughs> And no one was rapping about the Stan's little brother. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost done, y'all. I'm trying to see. Um, I think it's a miserable temp here. M should let it go out of pity for the guy and not respond. Even though after the popping pill cap part, he may drop a bar or two on his next track. We'll see. But this is the worst this I heard in my life. Uh, yeah, people saying that it, he'll let it go. Somebody says Bellazelle deserved the legend title, but he shouldn't have discredited Eminem. People respect Eminem's story, hard work, on top of skills and talent. But now, this this isn't, isn't real. It's already KO. No point in dragging him up to be beat up again. I've heard it's just to the senior citizen abuse. I think Shaq had the title about senior citizen on his on his uh reaction. I didn't watch that either. Um somebody mad too about him. I'm trying to see what's something else up here. I'm about to stop reading. I've been saying that for minutes. There's a lot of comments on here. Somebody said, I believe Melly Mel account was hacked. Yeah. Somebody didn't know who Melly Mel was. Damn, there's a lot of comments up here, bro. Okay, that's it. It's a lot. It's a lot of comments. Y'all had a lot of stuff to say about this reaction and about this whole thing. Um, Oh, 
Okay, I'm done looking at comments. I was trying to find something else in here. See if it was more comments in here than it was, it was a lot. It's over 100 comments in here. Um, I got a question for you. What do you think? How do you think Eminem feels right now? Do you does he think he feel like or how the world views Eminem not right now as a bully who beat up beat up somebody that was not equivalent? It's not Eminem fault that this guy's not lyrical as him or good as him. So don't get me wrong, he did call Eminem out. But how do you think the world looks right now with this as damn he dissed this old dude? He can't even he can't even respond. Well, he shouldn't respond. Do you think that cracks Eminem's legacy at all? But you know, throughout the, if you're like number one, just like in boxing, right? If you're number one in boxing and all these competitors are not up to your skill and you beat beating them, you're like 40 and no, like Mayweather or Bud, is it your fault, right? So what do you think the legacy is, you know, after this song? I, I know it's a lot of pity, a lot of sadness going on right now with this whole thing. And again, man, I don't want to keep y'all on too long. I just had to talk it out with myself because I was really having second doubt last night about even releasing this reaction. So last thing, I got some advice to Mr. Melly Mim. I wrote some advice with things he could do. I want to say it's advice of things he may do. One as you go through the YouTube universe and you see all of these clicks and how many times this video was watched, the first thing he probably should do is monetize. Get paid. If you're going to get drugged through the mud, get paid, bro. Two, what he may do is we have people on you. We have artists and entertainers who don't like you saying bad things about them. So what do they do? They request to take your video down or you get a copyright strike. That's another thing he could do. The last thing he should, the thing he probably should do for real though, is again, go back to what I said. All that stuff he rapped about, he could have talked it. He could have just spoke it. Could have spoke it in a room with people about the piss in the elevator, you know, and all he does is this and da 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 da. He could have used that and attacked him without trying to rap, bro. Anyway. What goes around comes around, right? So when Marshall gets 65 or uh, 70 years old, will somebody come in Marshall? <laughs> and will he still try to rap at 70? <laughs> you got to understand, something you just can't take seriously, right? People poke fun at you. You just got to let it go. But anyway, I'm done. I had to say something because my reaction was kind of short. But I had to come back and after reviewing the song, listen to the song again, watching my reaction over and just noticing y'all comments and kind of maybe think about things I would have said or should have said or should have asked yesterday when I dropped my reaction. So again, man, thanks for all the love. Thanks for, for watching. And again, man, if it's another, if M drops a song about this back, I probably won't react to it. It ain't going to be worth it. But I'm sure the game may come back. I'm sure somebody's gonna come back. I'm I'm betting you money. Somebody gonna watch this, listen to this song and feel bad for Melly Mel. I don't know what the level skill level of this rapper is gonna be, but somebody gonna say something back. That just natural. It's a lot of Eminem hate, right? All right, man. I'm done. Thanks for watching. FLB subscribe. Hit the like button, man. Peace. Just like music.